Hi, this is Mike Wallach with Trimec, and today I want to show you the power of the combine feature. This part that I have on screen looks fairly complicated, but it's really not. As you can see in the feature tree, it's only got four features. Now, to show you how I created this, I have this other version where I only have the two sketches so far, no features created. So I have a top view sketch shown in green, which includes all of the needed profiles, the outer profile and the profiles of the three cutouts. And for the front view, I have this profile shown in purple. So I'm going to start by extruding the top view and it doesn't really matter how large I extruded at this point. I just need it to be bigger than the final product needs to be. So a mid-plane extrusion at 80 millimeters will be fine here. Okay. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the front view sketch. I'll extrude that also at 80 millimeters. And this is very important. I need to turn off merge result because I need to have a multi-body part in order to be able to use a combined feature. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hide these two sketches. Don't need those anymore. So now we have two bodies. One that is just a straight extrusion of the top view and another that's a straight extrusion of the side view. Okay. Now I can use the combined tool. You can find that on the direct editing tab of the command manager ribbon or you can search for that command even if you don't have that ribbon activated there it is combine now if I were to pick the add option I could add these two bodies together and make them a single merged body but that's not what I'm after here if I subtract them then I could remove one of them from the other. Say if I pick this one as the main body and then subtract that body from it, I'll get a collection of bodies that look like this. Well, that's not what I'm after either. But if I use the common option, then I can select these two bodies and SolidWorks will go and find all of the common volume that they share and discard everything else. So I wind up with almost my completed part that quick and easy. And now all I have to do is add a fillet. And with tangent propagation on, that's going to be really easy. Just pick a few edges. and the model is done. So it's really a lot, uh, a lot easier than it looks. That's all for today, and enjoy using the combine.